What's happening, friends? Welcome to Unlocked. It's episode 304 for July 12th, 2017. Palindrome week. All week. All yes. week long. Yes, that's Incredible. seven, one, two, one, seven. I'm really like, same thing, <laughs> forwards and backwards. That's, that's too much. Provided <laughs> we're not in Europe. Uh, anyway, coming up on this week's show, Digital Foundry with some really interesting information that they've gleaned uh, regarding benchmarks for the Xbox One X, uh, which we want to talk a lot about. There's some really, really good news there. Plus, uh, some 4K updates coming from some of your favorite existing games. If you've either got them in your backlog or might want to revisit them, you'll want to stay tuned for that. Uh, beta details for Star Wars Battlefront 2, and a really fun little feature that Monolith is adding into uh, Shadow of Mordor for Shadow of War. We'll tell you all about that. It was on sale for $4. Yeah, this past weekend. It was, it was uh, free to try out as well. Yeah. So. Uh, if you are catching this on a breakout, be sure to check out the full episode, youtube.com slash IGN Unlock. Subscribe there uh, or on any of your favorite podcast services. So with that, I'm Ryan McCaffrey. That's Destin Legary. Destin ruins the intro Legary. <laughs> You're good at it. Real good at it. <laughs> to my left, uh, welcome back to Miranda Sanchez. It's been Hello. a little while since we've seen you. You've been occupied yeah. by the IGN Disney show going on. You're one of the stars. Very occupied. Top billing. Yeah, and talk about anime. It's great. It's what yeah. I do everywhere. I was like, uh, anime and Dota, those are my <laughs> requirements for every show I do, and then I can talk about whatever. Well, we'll, we'll uh, <laughs> First episode's 17th. What? First episode airs the 17th. Oh, yeah, of our July show. 17th. I'm like, what's he talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, so catch Marty on. Sleva. Yeah. Hi. No, I don't think I'm allowed on the Disney show. That's fine. Probably I, I, there. I wouldn't allow me You're on the probably show. probably on there somewhere. Like hiding in the back. Just stare, yeah. staring at the camera <laughs> like a weird dude. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm too old. I aged out of that show. They wouldn't let me on it. Uh... Speaking of anime, or maybe not, which you were talking about off <laughs> maybe camera. Maybe not. <laughs> Honestly, uh, just, you know, video game culture. Mm -hmm. has, has anyone watched the Netflix Castlevania series? I sure did. About five minutes of it. <laughs> right before the show. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's really good. <laughs> uh, I watched at the beginning. Of I the watched first uh, the first two episodes, so yeah. I watched the first hour of two Yeah, hours. I watched yeah. the first one. There's only, it's only four episodes for the first it's season. It's ostensibly That's a good. movie. I don't know why they don't just call it a movie. It's been renewed already for an eight-episode season two. Yeah, I'll just, just call really it cool, but second movie. That's um, weird that they did it that way. Yeah, they should have just done a movie and said, okay, now we're going to do a full series. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, Maybe they were like, I don't know. Let's cut it into four parts, see how it does. Well, and I mean, did well. the way... They announced the second season was just like immediately after it was out. So how would I think it was because have garnered the reviews came in and people were like, "This is actually pretty good. Like it's not perfect, but in the pantheon kind of, of video game adaptations, it's much better than the norm." So they were like, oftentimes they can glean that by uh, pre-release hype. Also, like mm -hmm. yeah, so they're just like holding their hand over the buttons, like we're going to do this. Yeah, just so gonna wait well, it's not like um, no. said, "Yep." Yeah. <laughs> I forget the name of the program that Amazon uses, but like that uh, the the tick. New series. Yeah. That remember, yeah. they they put the pilot out mm -hmm. and then said, "Hey, we're gonna like you know." They, I think they held a vote or some sort yeah. of mm -hmm. thing where, and then they went ahead and greenlit it. So maybe it was yeah. that kind yeah. of same thing. Yeah. Like this Netflix thing, like, oh, let's dip our toe in the water, mm -hmm. see how what people think of it, and then go from there. But I'm just surprised because it was faster than Stranger Things. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah, it's interesting. It's by uh, Andy Shankar, who's also who, after this, he's doing uh, the Assassin's Creed anime. Uh, <laughs> their words, not mine. Uh, and then I he don't also did this. this. He also did this uh, Power Rangers short uh, before in like an unofficial Power Rangers short. Um, that was an anime too. It was not an anime. That was certainly live action. Uh, <laughs> I love anime. But this is interesting because it's it, it, it takes the story of uh, Castlevania three, which <laughs> is the mine. the last Castlevania game from uh, the NES, and so it's uh, Trevor Belmont and uh, this is the first appearance of Alucard and Sypha and Grant the Nasty, and then sort of the. But this is kind of just about Dracula. Yeah, and, and that's again. I've only you watched the two of them. I've only watched the first one, but I, I just was fascinated by the pilot because the first half of it is spent creating genuine empathy for Dracula, yeah. which I was just not expecting. I was like, mm -hmm. okay, poor guy. I'm totally yeah. inv I'm invested in this now. I really want to go back mm -hmm. and see more. Yeah, I think the studio that's doing it is also really interesting mm -hmm. because um, if you know Frederator, who does Being Puppy Cat and Bravest Warriors, this is not their style yeah. at all. So it's really cool to see that flexibility with. What they can do, yeah, and I it's mean, written by Warren Ellis, like yeah. acclaimed comic writer Warren Ellis. Uh, just a weird thing that shouldn't exist, but does, and I'm kind of happy for that. Yeah, we're better off for it. Yeah, so excited, binge it. Hopefully, yeah. it continues it's with weekend. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, yeah anime. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I wanted to mention <laughs> as well a big, big episode of IGN Unfiltered this month. Not only we're going back to just the full episode, we're not cutting it up into parts anymore. We've taken the feedback there. Truly unfiltered. Yes. Yeah. Warren Spector <laughs> is my guest, and he is. Genuinely, one of my game design 
I don't want to say heroes because I'm not a game designer, yeah. but he, he's I admire the heck out of him, and he's made uh, so many great games over the years. Ultima Underworld, System Shock, and of course Deus Ex being at the top of his resume. Talked about all that stuff and Epic Mickey in mm-hmm. there, which uh, he has... He is very, very passionate about his his time at Disney, and and uh, he's a huge Disney fan. Mm-hmm. It turns out, so that is uh, that is up now as you see or hear this. Would really encourage you uh, to go either listen to that on podcasts or better yet, watch it on YouTube. Uh, that was that turned out. Or I thought it turned out really well. Warren's great. Good job, Brian. Yeah. yeah. Finally, and if you are a prominent vi- video game industry legend of some sort. Hey, reach out. I've got to I've got to film some more of those things for the second half of the year. I filmed like five of them during GDC week mm-hmm. and oh, have just been rolling them out. Yeah, the the, the well like, is dry oh, hey. at this point. <laughs> Miyamoto. That would be I've never I've never met him. He's, so neat. He's one right. of the absolute like bucket list career bucket list uh folks that I, I would love to meet and interview. Mm-hmm. Did you have to meet him, sir? I have not had the privilege. Nope. I feel like somehow you're going to meet him. It'd be great during your career here. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if anybody's ever sat down with him and done the thing I do, you know, the whole sort Nothing of like, we've like done, that. Yeah, we've only done back. interviews that are a little bit shorter, like yeah. Andrew interviewed him. I, I guess he's probably tough to pin down for more than yeah. five minutes at yeah. a time. Yeah. Busy man. Yeah. Anyway, uh, before we get going, I just wanted to mention something. We, you know, this, these kind of things do come in from time to time. We just can't get to them all, but uh, sort of caught me at the caught us at the right right moment, the right thing. I just wanted to read this letter uh, from Christopher. Writes in and says, I'm a longtime listener. Don't believe I've ever written in. I must admit, my reason for writing is not game-related. Over the past few months, I've been moved over the stories of Ryan's ordeal with his beloved dog. His choking up even brings me to tears. My son suffers from sickle cell anemia and has had bone marrow transplant surgery last week, which was a couple weeks ago now. I was hoping that you all could share my son's GoFundMe link with the Unlocked family, because we've seen the power of what what our community can Mm do. I've been a gamer all my life and a live arcade man since 2003, and his son Reed is now firmly entrenched in the gaming life, uh, (laughs) smiley face. Thanks and have a pleasant week. So uh, if you think you might be able to help uh, Christopher's son Reed out, it's GoFundMe.com slash save reads life and read is r-e-i-d so it's s save reads life s-a-v-e-r-e-i-d-s-l-i-f-e save reads life uh if you might help a fellow unlocked listener and his family out that's great it is great and uh we wish the best to to christopher and to read Mm -hmm. uh let's move to the news this week uh we're recording early so because of because of uh you and your disney friends i'm so sorry hog in the studio (laughs) classic mickey (sighs) Uh, so inevitably, apologies for whatever major Halo Six confirmed as a reboot that stars Cortana only. And so no, that's no what's going to happen. It's a That'd bold be cool. news story for tomorrow morning. <laughs> Andrew, wake up! <laughs> yeah, the lock spin off. Just wait. <laughs> that already happened. That was called Halo Five. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, want to start this week? Digital Foundry. So you know. We've been catching, well, I specifically, and I think the show has has caught some flack from certain segments of the community for, uh, people are like, hey, you're hating on the Xbox One X. I've tried to explain, no, we're simply, I feel like it's a little expensive, Ryan says. Why do you hate it? <laughs> and and what, I've what, said I said. Is, what I've said is <laughs> yeah. that I want to see I want to see it justified. This is a console that's, you know, it's the same. It doesn't play new games that the Xbox One doesn't play. It's $500. I want to see if it's going to get the support that merits the $500. And so that's why I wanted to bring up this Digital Foundry piece this week. They did a big article and a video as well, uh, which is just extremely extensive as per the usual Digital Foundry standard. Those guys do absolutely excellent work. And they they managed to sort of source a bunch of benchmarks. Um, they're kind of anonymous benchmarks, was because it was a thing sent out to developers, and the games were renamed Title A, Title B, mm-hmm. so as to protect the names of the innocent. But they were able to suss out what a lot of the titles were to really help give the extra perspective. I really encourage you to go to Digital Foundry, either their YouTube or their website on Eurogamer, to read or watch the whole thing. But what I wanted to talk about was uh, their their ultimate findings, which is really, really promising. And that is, it seems that the Xbox One X will, in, in essence, automatically apply a lot of its horsepower to whatever game you throw at it. So 
the concern that I had raised about, well, are we going to get PS4 Pro versions that just don't take advantage of the Xbox One X's power, or are developers going to go that extra, extra beat? And it looks like Microsoft's thought of that already, and at least to a certain degree, the box is going to do that unto itself, which I thought was really cool. I'm going to read you some excerpts and then let you guys talk because I'm uh, I'm just rambling on here. But this is just a few a few excerpts from the Digital Foundry piece. They they note pre-existing titles should get enough extra horsepower to max dynamic resolution titles and ramp up anisotropic filtering. So by dynamic resolution, that's stuff like Halo Five that runs at 60, mm-hmm. but the resolution drops from time to time when things get crazy. So to the, the, there, it will automatically sort of maximize the resolution wherever possible. Other backwards compatible enhancements promised by Microsoft, improved loading times, faster CPU power, RAM, cache, etc., are not GPU dependent. So out of the scope of these metrics, uh, but there's no reason to believe that they will not be delivered. So in other words, so just some digital foundry seeing that things are looking good there. Elsewhere, Microsoft's key advice for developers, expect an easy port to Xbox One X with a baseline 4X resolution boost. Start with your high-end PC settings, use the memory well, and fill any extra frame time with additional effects. Guard Guard carefully against increased loading stalls, and yes, consider techniques like checkerboard rendering and dynamic resolution. So what they're saying there is you really are going to be able to uh, port to it well, code for it easily using high-end PC settings as a baseline, uh, but we should expect not every game is going to be actually native 4K. We're going to see the checkerboarding mm-hmm. like PS4 Pro does, but I'm fine with checkerboarding. it's a very, con- yeah. you can't, I mean, maybe some people can tell the difference, but it's a really convincing. If you're looking, you can see it, but yeah. I mean, it's the, like the Anthem stuff look fantastic. Yes. Yeah. Uh, elsewhere, benchmarks show existing games getting up and running at higher resolutions and better frame rates fairly easily, and that's without any real optimization. And finally, uh, or actually, no, sorry, a couple more notes here. They note, Digital Foundry notes, the data for most of the nine titles, which are those anonymous games I was mentioning up front, the data for most of the nine titles clearly demonstrates that the 4X resolution design goal is clearly met even without access to new GPU features of the Xbox One X hardware. More good news. Finally, under the later XDK, so there's a there's a July, uh, there's a new XDK that uh, that's really for Xbox One X. Every new Xbox One title will automatically gain Xbox One X performance improvements, seemingly if the developer, uh, even if the developer does not have access to an Xbox One X dev kit and is targeting no bespoke improvements. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which is all I think great. I think that last part is really important because one of the like you expressed, like one of the question marks I had was, is a developer. Like, is it going to be worth the time for a developer to put in yes. the extra time, resources, and money yes. to optimize an Xbox One version when, in the grand scheme of things, between PS4, original Xbox One, and PC versions, if that is only going to account for 2% of the total sales of a game, right. like, how much time and resources do you really want to put towards that? And it and sounds so, like it's file, save as, as we often joke as. You well, just set it to your high-end But, planet. I mean, it just also sounds like that handle. even if you do literally nothing that the Xbox One X will take care of some of that for you and deliver some of these improvements. Not like the entire suite, but it will take care of some of this. Yeah, I, I'm incredibly excited. I am I am doing the 4K upgrade this year. I built Ooh. the computer. I bought the TV. I got a really good deal. What'd you on get? The, I got the KS8000. People always ask. Okay, yeah. so you went with I got the, the 55 KS8000, got it for 900 bucks with a wall mount. Wow. Yeah. A Can wall mount? Where? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Where'd you get it? Because uh, like, well, it was like Joey's or something like that. <laughs> they take a this money. guy named Joey. It's Joey's it's Joey. truck. <laughs> it's off the back of the truck. It had a really good deal, and I'm like, I'll do it. Cash whatever. only. At <laughs> Joey's. <laughs> yeah, they oh, take no. a long time to ship, but it has <laughs> tons of reviews online, and it's all really positive. They're just That's like shipping. They have to go steal it from. The <laughs> <laughs> yeah, falls off a back of the truck. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got an awesome TV <laughs> for 900 bucks. So I am really excited yeah. about the 4K move. Uh, I'm really, really stoked to see all this positive stuff about the X because, as I've said, I'm totally getting it. Hoping that this Amazon sale right going on right now. Yeah, it's Prime Day as we record. Yeah, I'm hoping that uh, I can get a Pro also. That would be just a double oh, wow. for me. There were crazy s- deals on the One The Slim. Yes. Yes. The yeah, Slim yeah. and the One S are like 230 bucks. Yeah, with, with games. With yeah. A, yeah, big The bundle. One S comes with two controllers like Halo and two other games. It was like Halo ReCore yeah. and something else. Yeah, yeah but that was, that was really exciting. Anyway, uh, stuff that from the article... 
bringing it back. Uh, all titles at 1080 run better, basically. Yes. And then uh, Summit 4K did run marginally slower, but only a small percentage point. So, yeah, like, that's I think a good thing to yeah. pull out because, yeah, they're, they're essentially saying... Talking upscaled. Yes. The upscale. Uh, mm. So... The, it, it, they're effectively saying that the Xbox One X will really suffer nothing in mm -hmm. going from 1080p to 4K on yeah. certain games, which is remarkable. Yeah. Older titles get a huge boost, up to 100%, they said, in the video. So anything older is going to look fantastic on your X. All those uh, I am so Xbox yeah. Xbox compatible games. That's what I'm excited yeah. for. <laughs> yeah. Fusion well, Frenzy. Yeah, plus <laughs> all, those, so all those Halo games, we're going to talk about it later, but all those yeah. Halo games are on there. Like, yeah. oh man, any of your old games are going to look awesome. Amped? Yeah. I'm amped to play Amped? I'm You're yes. the only person amped to play Amped. <laughs> I still have it. It's on my bookshelf. Yeah. <laughs> my I'm ready. Bookshelf. After, I'm weeks, after weeks and weeks of doing research about like refresh rates and all that stuff for a television, as you did for yeah. your television recommendation, uh, it's just really exciting to know that this console is going to harness that power. And I'm just like, yes, I'm getting it at the right time, I feel like. You know? <laughs> What's a, sorry, what did you say? Which size KSA? I got the 55. 55. Okay, because yeah. that's that's what I'm eyeing, too, because that's what would fit in my yeah. space. Yeah. I have um, a 41, and I'm like, 41 is like a perfect size television for me, but it's hard to get smaller than a 55 now. So, yeah. How big is the one that we have in the office? That's a 65. Okay, that's, that's 65. too big. Yeah, like, that's, I don't, a, that's a very large. My yeah. apartment, like, I don't have that much space. I don't yeah. need to, <laughs> I don't need to be that. It's like most of the well, wall, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so very excited, um, Miranda. You, we haven't had a chance to have you on lately. Yeah. Where where are you in the? Uh, do you have a 4K TV now? Do yeah. you plan to buy no. one? Do you plan to get an Xbox One X? Um, so I would like to get an Xbox One X. I would love to get a 4K TV, but it comes down to hey, that's nine hundred dollars just for the oh, TV. Oh, it's all on my credit that's card. On the, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm yeah. ruining yeah, my so, future. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a th it's like a, a dream thing. Like that'd be awesome. I'm kind of waiting till 4K TVs go down a little bit. Like with yeah. Prime Day, there were some that were actually kind of reasonable. Mm -hmm. um, so I think. After I get a 4K TV, that's when I can actually start looking into, like, okay, time to upgrade to Xbox One X. I still have my original Xbox. It is chugging a little bit. I mean, it's doing oh. mostly fine, but sometimes sure. I'm like, hey, you. For Prime Day. Please connect to the internet. <laughs> yeah, what if we connect to the internet now? Yeah. yeah, it's like, no, I guess I'll just restart it. Um, but yeah, whenever I make the move, it, that's what I'd ideally like to do. I'd rather not go back into something else. because You know, you want to play with the best settings. Yeah. yeah, definitely. For Prime Day, there is a really good deal on a 23-inch 4K 60 hertz monitor. Not 144, sorry, PC nerds. But yeah, yeah so there are good deals out there yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah. And there's going to be more as the year progresses yeah, so because they're cycling on all the old models. And, right, like that's yeah. kind of what I'm waiting for. It's just like, oh, you don't want that anymore? I'll take it. Sign <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, there so. was a... Um, a couple of people alerted me uh, Prime Day. There was a, a 55 inch Sony 4K TV for Ooh. 500 bucks. Yeah, I think that that's was, the one I saw. And, but by the time I clicked it, it was gone. And yeah. I, I yeah. tell you, I actually, I would Which have, one I would it? have pulled the trigger. I'd have to look. Oh. I remember off the top of my head. I think that's like one of the moments of like, well, the credit card can take it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, just, yeah. Again, that's, for the moment, yeah. you know. That's the thing for me. Again, I, I've said this before. It's what I'm just weird personality where if I'm gonna invest, you want either to a lot of time or a lot of money, I want to do it the the right way and that yeah right. that means you know maybe spending a little more i'm going to wait and plan to do that that being said a a little birdie from microsoft uh, high up at microsoft mm -hmm. told me sort of gave me a clue on hey you should take a look at this tv it's 600 bucks so i don't want to say what it is only because i don't want to seem like i'm recommending it i'm still mm -hmm. in the research phase i think but, i know it's one <laughs> but i if i pull the trigger i will mm -hmm. definitely share that out what's What's the price range? Is it higher? Is it higher end, or is no, it? No, it's a it's a six it's a fifty five inch, four K TV that's six hundred bucks. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's really. And good. that's its like regular. That's price. not even oh. at Joey's. Imagine how cheap it is at Joey's. <laughs> Two ninety nine <laughs> at Joey's. Um, okay, so Dustin, you have your four K TV coming. Yeah, I'm really. You're excited. getting an Xbox One X. Yeah. So obviously this this will be the place that you're playing stuff like Crackdown, Forza on. Uh, yeah. I imagine single player games, uh, third party games will be an easy like Assassin's Creed and mm -hmm. and Wolfenstein. So for something like Destiny, yeah. obviously you're huge on Destiny. This month is Destiny IGN first. Yeah, I'm dying. And that is a game that's <laughs> you're dying. <laughs> yeah. That is a game that's you know contingent on playing where you know your fire team is playing. Yeah. So what are you going to be playing Destiny two on? Uh, my primary platform, I'm going to start on PlayStation 4 to see what the character stuff is that's going to transfer over. I do have an Xbox character that's like 400. Uh, so I will check out Xbox, but Oof. primarily I am all, I'm going to play on PC, I think, okay. because I built a PC to specifically be able to play in 4K and stream and 60 in frames. 
yeah, 4K 60. Yeah. But that comes out after. That's it. So for it's about just a couple weeks month, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, it's about like a month. month right? Is it October? A month and a week or two. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So I'm going to start on console and then check out PC and then I'll oh. decide. Yeah. That's a shame. I'm, I'm, I haven't, I'm not making a solid choice. Yeah. I, yeah. It's, it's, uh, it would be, I wonder if, I'm sure they considered it, but I don't know if there are technical or political reasons. They just have, one account and be able to play your character on any, it's, any platform. You can dream. It's Xbox and PlayStation yeah. but not wanting to play but nice. They maybe, couldn't yeah. they at least do same like problem with X Final Fantasy? Xbox PC and PS4 PC and like yeah. so you, <laughs> when you want to go with their <laughs> yeah, that, separate. Yeah. There are some games so it's yeah. like Xbox PC playing together but there are, are like technical reasons as to why that's unfair. No, like no if you're doubt. playing on PC you're going to be better than sure. people on Xbox. Yeah. Just Player Unknown's Battleground well, no, is I, saying they are open yeah. to allowing PC and console crossplay. That's not yeah, true. Also not you're going to die if well, you're you would just right. you would actually opt in to that experience. Sure. Yeah. So, so, like, you can in a game like they that. They did that with Gears of War. Mm -hmm. So I mean like the latest well, one like they yeah. Did they really? Allowed for co-op opt in. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and I think they opened it up eventually to multiplayer as opposed to Oh, they started with co-op. Yeah. Yes, they started with co-ops. It's like, yeah, play with your friends who are playing on PC. Which is great, yeah. and I think that's totally fair, and just keeping it balanced. And, and I'm not even actually advocating for cross-platform play. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I wish they could have your just character let your be just, yeah, let your let you log into your character yeah. from mm -hmm. from any platform. But I would love. I'm that. sure there are That'd reasons. That'd be nice. Yeah, yeah. It's nice to want things. It is. Yeah, it you always dream. is. Yeah. Dreaming. So yeah. Long story short, I mean, I you know, I I really f feel a lot better about the X than I did three weeks ago. <laughs> Um, it's still a lot of money. It's still a five hundred dollar yeah. machine, and I. Yeah. You know, but no, if I, I that part. if I end up getting credit card. a four K TV, <laughs> I'm going to be a lot more tempted because that's what I said from the beginning. Is I feel like you know, you, for me, I had you know, the four K TV was a critical, yeah. right. critical part of it. Like yes, it has improvements on 1080p displays, but I I did, was not interested in spending five hundred dollars unless I mm -hmm. was going to get the full. 4K back. Yeah, and I'm one, I'm one of those people that I'm very skeptical going in, but then I'm pretty easily persuaded when it comes to like seeing everyone in the office gathering around something. Like, yeah. I was like, I'm not going to buy a Switch at launch. I'm going to wait till Mario. And then on March 3rd, everyone had their Switches and was playing Zelda. And then on March 4th, I bought one. Because I'm yeah. like, all right, I, I got to be a part of this. Lucky you found one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's because Brian got a second one. And so I just bought oh, his. A lot yeah. of people bought two. Yeah. And luckily, we were able to give them the other people who yeah. missed out. I was the same way. Like I was like, I'm not going to play Overwatch. And then everyone was playing Overwatch. And I bought it. And I played three matches. And <laughs> I was like, well, no, that's it's real. I'm not going to play Overwatch. Yeah. <laughs> Let's play Overwatch. Yeah. We're going to bring it back. Yeah. Was it Doom or Doomfist? You're gonna bring oh, back yeah. Overwatch. Yeah. I think it's good. Yeah. I'm bringing back <laughs> Overwatch, guys. Maybe it's in the office. Yeah. I don't know, a lot of us fell off. Yeah. I mean, I a play lot of people still play in the lunchroom. Yeah. Like every lunch break, there's just still a group of us. Okay, so to editorial not here, but yeah, <laughs> it's not, that's like video team. It's just our social. schedules. We're just swamped. That's true. You're making a Disney show. Yeah, You're I'm busy. still playing Zelda. So yeah, and Dota. Uh, Mickey but. Mouse is like, you get a 10 minute break and that's it. You got to use it for quick Dota. Yeah, he finds a Korok seed and then he's good. Gets out. Yeah, actually watching the show we had that the overwatch segment never mind a little spoilery Ooh, but yeah overwatch. look at that got me <laughs> excited to play it again got yeah. me excited to play it again anyway mm -hmm. uh let's keep the 4k train rolling this week halo 5 it was announced is getting a 4k update for xbox one x later this year yes uh which for me i don't know about you guys that would be all about the multiplayer mm -hmm. just yeah. play, playing probably the first thing i'm gonna play 4k 60 yeah halo 5 and that mm -hmm. that glorious multiplayer that continues to get better and better as yeah. every really month i really wish i would have played more halo 5 multiplayer when it came out i think right. i'm just busy i'll bet you wiki you probably watched a lot of it <laughs> yeah home. i watched quite a bit I don't, I don't know it's so fun it is my favorite of the Halos so far for multiplayer. If, if I could, we were hunting down the skulls, you got yeah, all the skulls. Yeah, I got all the skulls. You, you, I yeah, beat a legendary possible. solo. It was mm -hmm. good. And then I was like, man, multiplayer. And then I was like, oh, I'm ready. Next project. I was like, oh, man. I'm sure. <laughs> I started a legendary solo and stopped. <laughs> I was like, no. And quitter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's it's tough. <laughs> I'm sure the, you know, the gameplay, the Spartan abilities and such in Halo 5, it, like it wouldn't translate. But could we just... Tran remake every single Halo 2 map Ooh. and Aww. put it into Halo, Halo 5, 5 because yeah. <laughs> those were the best maps. Yeah. yeah. That is my, I mean, that's my one, I don't want to even call it a criticism necessarily of Halo 5 multiplayer. I just, but I'll say not as strong aspect of it. I don't think the maps overall are as, are as good as a lot of Halos right. like in the past. Not one that I'm like, wow, that's super, such a memorable map. Like, I'm going to yeah. think about that forever. There's no the lockout in yeah. Yeah. Halo yeah. 5. I what? don't think. What but if you could have one map, but then all the others are deleted out of existence? <laughs> that, well, then I would be 
That, that's like that's what the kids <laughs> do now, right? All right, Miranda, they just uh, well, pick one, one game and play one thing over and over yeah. until well, the end I mean, of time. Yeah, I have like, what, a thousand hundred hours in Dota now? It's one map, except it's changed since I've been playing like three times. Still three lanes? Yes, always okay. three lanes. <laughs> Most of the trees are still the same. Some of them are different and now, though. You have 1,100 hours? Got the mobs? Yeah. I don't know. Counter Strike. <laughs> if, if Sean were in the control room, which he's not today, he would he would corroborate this. I mean, Counter Strike players basically did that voluntarily. Yeah, there were other maps in that game, but it's like, nope, de dust yeah. all day, yeah, every game. day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I could play Lockout, can we can we compromise? Can it be one smaller map and then one big team map? Fine. Okay. So all the other ones are deleted forever. This <laughs> so is Ryan's pick: Blood Gulch and Lockout. Yeah. Which, or uh. Coagulation yeah. was the Halo 2 okay. version yes. of it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, Blood Gulch better be on his list. Yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. It is. Don't worry about that. So good news for uh, Xbox One X owners who are still playing Halo 5, particularly, of course, on the multiplayer side. Uh, also, Destin, you alluded to this earlier in the show, mm -hmm. Halo Anniversary, Halo 3, Halo 3 ODST, and Halo 4 are all being added to backwards compatibility, joining Halo Reach, which is already... Backwards compatible. Yeah, I think they, they were popping up on the 360 a few weeks ago, or like last week or something like that, because I saw people taking screenshots of it and tweeting at me. That is really exciting. I love the Halo yeah. games. I would love to go back and play through Reach again. I was again just playing 3. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. For the weekend, me awesome. and uh, three friends. Were Anna like, anniversary? Play. Yeah. yeah. It was really hard to get together. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it took so long, and then it was so laggy, and we were like, well, this is what Legendary is all about. Yeah. Well, I did, <laughs> well, I did three yeah. Legendary solo, and the first thing I did was like, where was that skull again? I know it's like up here. Yeah, that, yeah. And like mission, mission three or four, you have to jump up in the control center. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It was really fun. Yeah, this is specifically cool for ODST, because, I mean, obviously in the Master Chief collection, you have the other games, and so mm -hmm. like well, being able to play. They have ODST. Not, if, if you had Master Chief Collection oh, on yeah, day one, one you which, got it. which we did, yeah, yeah. you got it for free, yeah. but then they did sell it sell as well. It. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's in there either way. And yeah. Miranda, you, yeah, you just you just accidentally alluded to this. I think you were starting to go down that road. Uh, Master Chief Collection, this, am I am I crazy that this kind of is like the final nail in the coffin for sorry, sorry we're never yeah. doing anything else with yeah. Master Chief Collection yeah. ever again? <laughs> like, hey, you have yeah, everything. Fix, we're yeah. going to fix that. I yeah. mean, if it's still not working, it's ideally. It's so hard to get together. I mean, it took us like 20 minutes to try to get our party together. And oh, then right. loading in was okay. And then we tried to play ODST and it would just kick us all out immediately. That's insane. Because um, me and my boyfriend were playing at home and we we're connecting with two other people. One person is in California. The other person is on the East Coast. And they that just, East Coast server, yeah. probably. I guess you gotta, so. You got to make yeah. more local friends. Actually, he was the one leading the party, and it only worked when he led it. Oh, really? So, yeah, it was oh, weird. You solved it. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> but it didn't work for ODST ever, so we only Aww. got to play Halo 3. It's a shame. Yeah. It's but that's the thing. It's So now the only part of the Master Chief collection that's not compatible separately on its own is Halo 2 Anniversary. Yeah. That's the only thing that's... Because you get three ODST... And four, mm -hmm. uh, oh, and one, and sorry, one. are all, yeah, everything else uh, is just backwards compatible. Uh, so, to, you know, go, you can go play multiplayer in those. And it's a shame. I mean, mm -hmm. it's, I, you know, I did, I, I still regret, like I got, I 100% got the Halo uh, Master Chief Collection review wrong. Like mm -hmm. I, it was a very Which bizarre, uh, the review, the, my review of Master Chief Collection, I, I, we wish I could do it over again. Oh, okay. Um, it was too high a score. It was it was not held. I did not hold it properly accountable for its flaws. I was it was having all those problems, and three four three was saying, "Oh, we're gonna fix it. We're gonna fix it." And we didn't have our system in place internally for re-reviewing reviews, in progress. Uh, reviews right. in progress in progress quite yet. We're in a stable then. Yeah, yeah. Now we have and, a system. For and I it. still I was looking at it. You know, I was, I was really trying to be optimistic, and I said, "Well, I feel like it's still." a nine for just for the single player campaigns, which is fair, I think, but it's just, it's, that's just overlooking all the multiplayer yeah. problems. I wish I could do that one over again, but it is, it's, it's a, it's a shame that that's Years kind later. of the end. Yeah, yeah. For master chief collection and that it's, it never worked properly. It never, it was so promising. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, if, imagine if it would have worked. I mean, it had the really, potential to be like, I'd still be playing it. Right up there with like Mario All Stars is like one yeah. of the greatest discs of all time. Yeah. And the pre release stuff, like, it was fine. But then when it actually came out, it was not. That's the kind of thing that well, happens. Like, because it was in, yeah, like, s networked, local area network controlled yeah. environments. Yeah. In, yeah. yeah. In, the, in the preview. Yeah. Yeah. That's the unfortunate part. 
So yeah, was we shovel dirt onto the Master Chief collection. <laughs> oh. uh, let's move on to some better news. The Witcher 3 yeah. is getting an Xbox One X update for obviously later this year. I can play it. Have you not played? I played a little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm in the same boat. Yeah. I, only I got to the first bit. town. I did a bunch of the quests there. I fought the Griffin. Sounds, I don't know. Sounds like a thing. Yeah. creature names. Yeah. A Griffin. That a Griffin's right. a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's about where I stopped. But you were like, game. you were like almost done with the game. <laughs> no, I was <laughs> you were not. Right there. You're right <laughs> no. before the final boss. Really? The Griffin's oh, wow. dad. Really short game. Uh, really yeah, I think this is super cool. Which was one of those games that, yeah, I'm this, I'm in the same boat. Like I, I haven't put nearly enough time into this, and the fact that even since its initial release, it's gotten these two massive expansions that are almost entirely different games in their own right. I just want to play the expansions. Yeah, like Blood and Wine. Like you go to this like weird like Alice in Wonderland fantasy world. Uh, I think this is super cool, and the fact is like there hasn't been a you know giant open world fantasy game that's been better than this since it came out. Game like, IGN's game of the year, yeah, 2015. Yeah. And uh one despite the fact that it's a massive open world game, one of the prettier oh, yeah. games on on the oh, Xbox yeah. One period. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's about to get prettier. Yeah. On the Xbox One X. Yeah, it look it's looks fantastic. Yeah, and it's getting updates on both that and uh, PS4 Pro, so that's again like we're probably not getting an Elder Scrolls game anytime soon. So for the foreseeable future, this will still be at the you know top of the mountain when it comes to giant open world fantasy games. CD that Project is true. Red just is astounding what they're able to accomplish mm -hmm. with their resources. Those guys are great. Yeah. Yeah. Cyberpunk. Yeah. Give me Cyberpunk. <laughs> 2030. 2077. Yeah, they're they're working on it. It's probably um, <laughs> I'm sure you're the first person on the internet. No one's made, made that, that joke. joke. Uh Destin, yeah. on your Xbox One X, though, I would say. I would not hold your breath for 60 frames on the Xbox One X. Uh, they did, well, it was they did a giant at, open world game. <laughs> yeah, really? they, they didn't confirm 30, any details. Right? So, but yeah, I, I would expect uh, a 4K or a probably checkerboarded version of it and some That's nicer fine. effects. And Destiny won't be at 60 either. So it'll be. be uh, <laughs> it should look real pretty. On uh, it Phoenix. won't. That's just true. <laughs> That's not throwing shade. Moving on. Anyway. <laughs> uh, Another big fall game like Destiny 2 is Star Wars Battlefront 2. They're doing a beta, which I'm guessing is probably more of a uh, server stress test yep, than anything yep. else because this is not a game that is probably going to need a lot of uh, user feedback in the sense of, boy, this game stinks. You really should work yeah, on yeah. it some more. I think this is good just because they also want to show us, like, hey, this is not the same as Battlefront. Like, it's totally different mm -hmm. and you're gonna like a lot more yeah because that's how i felt about it anyway because i had to play id3 yeah that's right. and i was just like wow this is so much more interesting than the first battlefront yeah just, yeah i just think the general flow of a yeah. single match feels so much better than the original battlefront yeah, yeah. the story will be perfect mitch mitch wrote the story. <laughs> oh right <laughs> yeah. looking for the like, segue okay. like I'm what the hell are you anything. talking about no, no segue uh i am just legitimately excited to uh play the story portion of the game yeah, yeah of course yeah, you and me both so we've got some details on what the beta will entail. The beta will show off a map, uh, one map each from two modes, Galactic Assault and Starfighter Assault. And the beta is going to run from October 6th to October 9th. Or if you pre-ordered, they're giving you early access. You can jump in there on the 4th of October. Galactic Assault will take place on the Naboo map we've seen shown off previously. It's a ground battle between the Republic's clones and the Separatist droids set in the city of Theed. The mode will feature four classes to try out, assault troopers, heavy troopers, officers who uh, they buff teammates and drop remote weapons, and the specialist class, they snipe and plant traps. It will also include prequel era vehicles and include some as yet unspecified named heroes. So characters. it's weird that they're being vague because this is just this. exactly what we played at E3. Yeah. And so the heroes are probably going to be like Boba Fett and, and Ray. Wasn't Darth, Darth Maul in there? And Han yeah. Solo. Mm -hmm. And Jabba the Hutt. And Jabba, yeah, the yep. greatest hero of them all. <laughs> yes. Um, Living legend. <laughs> yeah, but this level that we got to play at E3, it was gorgeous. It was like, I mean, that's the whole thing. Like, I'm excited to do prequel stuff in this game because yeah. the prequels oh. aren't good movies, but I love aesthetics about them. Yes. It was really fun to play that stuff. Yeah, and, like so the battle pretty. droids are so cool looking. Yeah, yeah I love the yeah. droids. I love yeah. them. They're so weird. Yeah. They're so awkward. <laughs> yeah. They're they are quirky. like really, they're yeah. Quirky. Yeah. yeah they are yeah, playing as them is just fun. Like, their chatter on the battlefields, mm -hmm. so enjoyable. Yeah, yeah. Did uh, they make the Roger Roger joke. I'm sure yes. they do Roger Roger. Uh, yes, yeah. yes, there, there are mm -hmm. some Roger Rogers. But then we didn't get to play the second thing. Yeah, EA yeah. offered a little less on what the Starfighter Assault 
uh, mode will include. Bet you assault a star. But fight. it's multiplayer space <laughs> combat battle. Use my detective set skills. During the original right. trilogy, mm -hmm. are you gonna just keep talking? While I'm, I'm, talk done. I'm done. I'm sorry. Show? I'll stop. A little cross talk over there. A little, uh, a little amped up today. I'll uh, you will pilot an assortment of Star Wars's greatest ships in an objective-based multi-stage battle. That sounds exactly like what would have been super awesome in the first game. Mm -hmm. I know they had, a, you know, a little bit of that. I mean, that's kind of like this entire game. game. It's like, wow, that would have been cool in the first game, and now here it is. Here we yeah. go. This seems like. Uh, this is taking a cue, not a cue from, but like it almost feels like the first Assassin's Creed where it was like, oh, this is a really cool proof of concept. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden the sequel comes out and you're like, oh, you were, okay, this is this is what we wanted from this thing yeah. altogether. Maybe like this is a weird way to put it, but it felt like they're trying to make the first one too accessible. Like they stripped it down so much to be like, hey, anyone can play this. Like yeah. It's a fun shooter. Yeah. But it because of that, people go into it saying like, oh, I love Battlefields and I mm -hmm. want to see what they're doing with this. And they're just so dulled down. You yeah. think that could be? I think that's kind of what I felt like. I was like, yeah, anyone can play it, but it's just boring. But do you feel like that might have been almost, I'm, I'm just trying to riff on your train of thought, like almost on purpose in the sense that let's keep it super simple, yeah. lure everybody in, get them hooked, get them familiar with it, and then we can throw the heavier duty stuff at them in the sequel? I mean, maybe. I, mean, I don't know how that would hook anybody. I mean, I know people really enjoyed it, but a yeah. lot of people I think that are really interested in shooters got really disillusioned with it. Yeah. I mean, just... It's I think kind of stale. I think they hit some production deadline that they needed to release Maybe this particular version of it. And then uh, with the sequel, they were like, all right, we've built this fantastic base. Let's build upon it. And now we have this sequel. It's also like you, you have to remember that this came out two years ago, like a month before Force Awakens came out. And so Star Wars as a whole had a very different mindset because we were all still in the all right, so is this Disney era of Star Wars a good thing or a <laughs> yeah. bad thing? Mm -hmm. And then Force Awakens came out and was great, and uh, Rogue One was uh, fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, but Episode Eight looks cool. Uh, all the stuff they've been saying about Star Wars games are great, and so I feel like we're at a different place with Star Wars. Like, they don't have to win us over on the concept of Star Wars coming back in a big way in 2017. Like, we're already fully on board. We're like, all right, Star Wars is here. We're going to die long before Star Wars is done. <laughs> um, and so I feel like you're able to sort of take more risks and, and do something a little bit deeper, which I think just is cool. Just, like, having the classes changes so much. Yeah. Like, I didn't believe that how much of a different game it was just because they added that. Mm -hmm. I'm just like, thank goodness. Yeah. And officer class is real cool. And it's not just a rush for the hero token. Like yeah, that made, that made each was match so annoying. Oh yeah, yeah. This yeah. is you earn your hero, which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's like dependent on how you play, and of course, if you're not the best like mm -hmm. KDR, then it's okay because you're still there's objectives, points, yeah. Yeah. objectives, yeah. or just like helping your teammates mm -hmm. and that, just doing a lot of other things too. So it's not just the best player gets all the best stuff. Mm -hmm. Like they probably will get more than you, but yeah, that was definitely my favorite adjustment. The fact that everybody gets a chance to play as the cool guy. Yeah, yeah, like that's. Know. It's better. Or even for like a battle droid, and say if you're not going to be a hero, you can be a super battle droid. And so all of a sudden you come out and you're like, you know, you feel powered up. And Such it's, a good boy. So he's a very, he's a <laughs> giant boy. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's really cool. It's funny how, I may have said this before on the, this podcast, but it's, the, it's like one of the fundamental differences to me of, of games as an entertainment medium versus film. Mm -hmm. like so often film sequels are not as good because mm -hmm. the, 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 magic of it, the characters, the story, everything mm -hmm. that that auteur wanted to say went into the first film. Whereas games, because they're based, they're built off of mechanics, yeah. you, oftentimes the sequel is way, is totally better than the yeah, first yeah, game. Yeah. And the sequel is what you sort of remember as the, th I mean, look at as far as multiplayer go, like Halo 2, you know, mm -hmm. uh, there's, there's, a, there's a million examples over the years, but it's just interesting that you know, we often tend to look back on, yeah, the first one was fine, but man, that second one was, was really <laughs> yeah. where it was at. Yeah, it's funny how different that is with movies. No one says that about The Matrix. Everyone oh, like, shouldn't have made two and three. Yeah. Nope. I immediately thought of Ninja Turtles 2. <laughs> the game or the movie? The movie. I like the second Ninja No, wait. I think the first no. one's better. Wait, are you talking about the new new two wait. or first two? Not the, what? Eight, the one in the 80s and 90s. Oh, Secret, Secret of the, of the Ooze? Ooze? What are you like saying? You like Secret of the Ooze more? No, I, no. I thought Secret of the Ooze was a bad movie. That's what I'm saying. This oh, oh of course. <laughs> Argument over. We're all on the yeah, same page. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Everyone's like, "What are you saying?" Yeah. I don't understand Destin anymore. Yeah. The Never sequel is worse. Was. I'm just agreeing with you. <laughs> okay. I Never yeah. saw those movies. Iron Man two <laughs> worse than the first. Never gonna watch them. You're totally fine not watching. <laughs> Iron Man three way worse than the other two. Marty likes. Uh, Iron I Man love 3. Iron Man three. I think yeah. Iron Man three is one of the best movies in the MCU. I think it deals with it deals with PTSD. Did you see Spider Man? Yeah, I thought it was incredible. It was amazing. It was spectacular. It was fun. I used all Spider-Man words. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was amazing. Don't sweat me. I whipped you. 
Um, finishing off on Star I Wars, cool. uh, I think uh, they uh, we're gonna have a couple more uh, beats on Star Wars. One this weekend is D twenty three. Yeah, which you is would like think Disney Con. Uh, they've announced there's a games panel Saturday morning, and three of the games they've mentioned are uh, Battlefront two. We know Kingdom Hearts three is getting a new trailer. Nice. Yay. And uh, they mentioned Spider Man. The P- I mean, that's a PS four game, but it'd be cool if we saw more of that. That Excellent. would be awesome. Yeah, and then I think that another really another big beat is at Gamescom in Germany next month. Yeah, and then the game. Then it's practical. Oh my time god, Gamescom is next month. Yep. Sorry, Ryan. It's okay. CGS. <laughs> it's all yeah. right. And it's CGS. And then it's done. Everyone's favorite. Yeah. It's my favorite. <laughs> uh, finally, do we have any Shadow of Mordor slash Shadow of War fans? I just bought it for $4. That's neat. You know, I took advantage of the sale. Yeah. yeah. Well, it is a uh, really cool new update that just went out for that. You can import your nemesis, whichever character was, you know, was deemed your nemesis in Shadow of Mordor. You can. There's a free update for the game to to actually import that character into Shadow of War when it comes out in That's October, cool. which so nice. is yeah. such a fun Good little thing. feature that nobody, well, at least nobody maybe expected. I was gonna say nobody asked for. It. I'm sure there were fans yeah. that asked for it, but nobody expected. They totally could have gotten away with not doing that. How how great is that? I just want to wanted to awesome. salute yeah. Monolith. Yeah. No, I think that's super yeah. cool. Um, and to do it. At this time, when like the game was super cheap or free for a weekend in different places, mm-hmm. to get you hyped up for what was it three months until the, the Smart, sequel comes yeah. out, yeah. And I like the idea that the nemesis has been harboring like a three year grudge for you. <laughs> it's been in like yeah. this dark cave while your console's been off, just brooding. He's the final pissed boss. off, yeah. Just, just planning, scratching every day is another hash, yeah. another tally oh. mark on the wall. Or I like soon. The, I like the fact that like they're hyping this up, and it's actually just the very first counter encounter of the game is against that nemesis. You just like chop its head off. And you're like, All right, now Shadow. <laughs> War starting. That's yeah. how uh, Destin wanted Halo 6 to start. With, you just with kill Agent Lock. Lock. You just kill Lock. <laughs> you push him into a lava pit. He does the thumbs up. No, get out. What if that's how Destiny wow. 2 started? Is you were like fighting that you created a character and then you were fighting alongside your Destiny 1 character and then they just died. The I kind of hoped that would happen, to be honest. I thought that would be a really remember, good transition. Remember what cool. my petition was? What? Is that it's like a weird pet. Your character from the first game becomes <laughs> your weird pet. It's like a small version yeah, of your original. Yeah, like your, your oh, avatar really becomes cute. like a weird pet. And so like... <laughs> Everyone starts at a level playing field, but like you have a really cool weird pet. Yeah. Like, is it like a person, or is it turning? Yeah, into a dog? I think my no. My initial thing was that it was like <laughs> like a weird gimp How thing. Do you, <laughs> <laughs> you had a Wait, lead, what? Like you had a ball game? Game? <laughs> like, <laughs> No, I'm not on board with well, that. No, no, that's that's awful. No, first off, that was my initial thing, and I was the, the floor was open for us to. It's a, there's creative. no bad ideas. Yeah, it was a writers' room. It's fine. Let's there go are... into orbit, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! No one asked you. You'll speak only when you're spoken to. I think I watched oh, Pulp no. Fiction like a weekend before that episode. So, yeah. Yeah, I'm shocked Bungie didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a it's a miracle that you're not uh, you haven't crossed over into game development yet. <laughs> yeah, <Marty. laughs> every pitch meeting. How about a get Marty? Stop it. I'm texting Mitch. Mitch, I got some idea. Marty, you gotta stop texting me. Yes. We're not putting this. Mitch there. is going to like a uh, block contact. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, a couple more quick things this week. A group of ex-Bioshock developers at a studio called Uppercut Games have announced a new game for Xbox called City of Brass. Uh, I thought I wanted to flag this because I watched the trailer, which I found interesting. It is a first-person rogue light. Uh, players will explore a dangerous Arabian Nights-themed city and complete procedurally generated quests in the hopes of reaching the city's biggest treasures. Players will need to avoid plenty of traps and enemies along the way, as well as seek help from genies who act as shopkeepers offering upgrades and items. Here's the part from the trailer that I thought was really good. You'll have a whip and a scimitar at your disposal to make your journey a bit easier. The whip allows you to disarm and grab enemies and also swing across rooftops by grappling onto specific structures. That looked cool, didn't it? Yeah, it did. So, I get to roll Oh, this light. is first person? Yeah. yeah. So it's got first oh, person neat. swinging? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And that like, sounds pretty cool, actually. Things, yeah. Just, it sounds pretty cool. Yeah. Like it. Um, the trailer shows a lot of just like some enemy comes at you with a weapon and you just whip it right out yeah. and then just drop it. <laughs> oh, that's like, well, cool. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, I can yeah, kill you, you just, now. Like, take them down. A bunch the of skeletons. Setting sounds cool. Like yeah. not a ton of games have this Arabian Nights kind of thing to it. And I don't know. Obviously, the pedigree is there. Like you work on Bioshock. It's one of those cases where like uh, a developer separates and then we get cool stuff like this. Yeah. yeah. One of the many cool projects stemming the, from uh, x Bioshock. Definitely. Yes. So the main trailer, whenever it starts, it's just like, oh yeah, you guys did work on Bioshock. Oh. Because <laughs> like the city rises from the sand and like you have to like this one item, you look at it, like your wrist is just really prominent. I just oh, like, very like, much oh, yeah, you guys totally worked on Bioshock. Yeah. And then you look up and then, you know, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. I love that. 
Excellent. Very much. So, uh, yeah, we will be keeping an eye on City of Brass as its uh, development progresses. Finally, I wish Alana were here, but she is uh, occupied Aww. this week. Fable Fortune, she's going to have to wait a little while longer for the next Fable release. You'll remember, it's the card game, the CCG, mm-hmm. that Microsoft gave permission to a group of ex-Lionhead developers to okay. do. They kickstarted it successfully, and now it is almost done, but it's been pushed back a tad. It's going into Xbox Game Preview instead of this week. It was supposed to be this week. It's going to be July 25th, so if you wanted to get your Fable fix in CCG form... You'll be able to do that on July 25th. Yeah, I played this a couple months ago, and like I'm not a card game guy, but it definitely has. It's deeply rooted in Fable. Like it's set in Albion, like all the the creatures, characters, weapons, locations, like everything that I was seeing in the cards. Like you know, it it, it hit me right in the heart. Excellent. So. You you can cast it there like a lemon. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna Aww. stand there looking like a lemon. <laughs> stand there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> All right. Do you, is there a chicken chaser card? There's got to be a chicken chaser. Gotta be. <laughs> there yeah, has yeah, to be yeah. somewhere. It can't not be. And there's one that just affirms that Halo 2 is, or uh, Fable 2 is the best Fable game? Yes. Yeah. 100%. Certainly not Fable 1. Definitely Fable not. 2, you just win. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Fable 2 card wins. <laughs> yeah. All right. That's it for the news this week. Let me go to Miranda Sanchez. What can what? we spend our money on out there on the uh, in the marketplace this week? Oh, right. For retail, you have nothing. <laughs> but... it's welcome to July. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's summertime. You should be catching up on old games. Like That's the perfect time right now. You can get that Sub-Zero DLC. <laughs> <laughs> you almost started crying. <laughs> <laughs> but for digital, we have Mario Heroes Omega, which is a free-to-play game. That's good. Yeah. Uh, this is... Marvel Heroes has been a... Uh, also free to play on PC. It's a, mm-hmm. I believe it's kind of action RPG dungeon Diablo crawlery yeah. Diablo yeah. type. Yeah, cool. And I know it's evolved a lot over over the, the few years it's been out, and so it's finally came to consoles. And from yeah. what I hear, it's pretty good. It's yeah. Probably a good time to try it. Yeah, free. Mm-hmm. free you never know. Nice. Um, so if you're not playing anything else, maybe check that out. And then we have Ghost of a Tale, which is twenty dollars game preview free trial available, which is something I always like to hear. Yes. What is it? What's Ghost of a Tale? Oh, I don't know. A ghost, ghost with are these cool. Things. We can also uh, the, the story's not up on the site, but I'm assuming this is going up tomorrow. Uh, yeah. We can officially say that what remains of Edith Finch is coming to Xbox in like a week Yay! or two. Yay! That was an incredible uh, first-person narrative walking simulator. But all these like magical realism vignettes it came out on PS4 and PC a couple months ago. It's uh, wonderful. One Must have been like a 60-day timed exclusive deal with yeah. Sony yeah. or something. I was a little worried because it was uh, Giant Sparrow, whose first game was the Unfinished Swan, which Only is just on straight up a PS3, yeah, 4, and yeah. Vita exclusive. Uh, but I assume that's obviously not the case anymore. So, uh, yeah, great game to play during a slow month. Yeah, I really liked Unfinished Swan. I, I, I thought I didn't like... I mean, it's spoiling at this point. I think you're the, the, the end part where it sort sure. of... It just sort of uh, breaks the fourth wall. Yeah, and like, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, they lost me a bit on mm-hmm. that, but I love the f- everything up until yeah. that point. Yeah, good game overall. Yeah, and this game's uh, this game's great. Yeah, you had, you had mentioned how uh, excellent this is. Mm-hmm. So looking forward to checking I've been that out. Wanting to play that for a really long time. So I'm glad. Well, now you have, yeah, Xbox now you have a reason. Because I can just get on there instead. Perfect. Excellent. Yeah. yeah I like uh, that. Games with gold. What's what are we? What's free over there? So we have Grow Up July. So that yeah it comes out July first. So that's when you can snag it. So mm-hmm. you should that's be, now. You can get it now. It's, yeah. You should have it already. <laughs> um, then Run Bow. It's an Xbox coming up game. next week. Yeah, it's like so a July sixteenth. Party game where you can mm-hmm. all run. Yeah. Oh, you can run. It was a Wii U game that was up to eight players. Yeah. Huh. Huh. Eight player single screen like Side. competitive co op years ago. It was legitimately one person played with a gamepad, and I think there were s- you could tether seven controllers. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah. I think like the only other game to do that was Smash. It's a fun party. They game. were the only two sure. eight player games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have my cats. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the only friends I have. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you couldn't it's get you a, and your cats cats game? Get out of here, Brian! You had a bunch of cats. It's actually my cats, cats. So, you know. <laughs> my friends' yeah. cats. You know, cat sitting. Um, that's available until August fifteenth, and then next up we have Caden Lynch Two Dog Days, which is July first to the fifteenth. So that's expiring. Do that, do that soon. Yeah, yeah. So. it's good. Yeah. It's a bit underrated, I think. Caden Lynch. One of the weirdest statues we had in the office. Remember when we had that statue of the one two of them, them hugging? Or, no, they weren't. I hugging. thought one of them was choking the other one. Were you here then? <laughs> I wasn't here. We, we, we remember. Luckily, it's got rid of that statue. No. Well, we we had it no. posed in a really goofy way that wasn't inte- wasn't how it was supposed to be posed. That's it was, how it should be. It was yeah. the original <laughs> ending of Dog Days where they kiss. <gasps> Perfect. Yes. Okay, and then finally we have Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, the video game. So it's July 16th to the 31st. Can't go wrong on that one. Yeah, Lego games are so fun. They're just silly. I think I was telling a story last week. That was that's one of the first games I worked on, um, wrote or helped on the guide for when I first got hired in the industry. Aww. Yeah. Oh, Traveler's Tales, yeah. the, maybe one of the most 
quietly consistent game developers. Yeah. Yes, they're always working on Lego games, but f it's like in spite of that, they yeah. all they're all good and charming and they, fun. They do and super great family fan, serv yeah. fan service to whatever property they're based on, whether it's Harry Potter or Star Wars or anything in Lego Dimensions. Pride of the UK. Absolutely. <laughs> Pride of the UK. Suck it, Krupa. Oh, yeah. earned him. Yeah. Yeah. He's fine. He's probably sleeping or at a bar. Right now. Know, is it? Totally. It's like um, almost it's midnight. Night. I think it's night. Yeah. yeah. Getting on towards the witching hour. Yeah. All right. Good hour. Let's uh, do some trivia. We've got Marty go. in the lead at nine points. Marty's not even in it for the trophy. He just wants to spite, spite Destin. Destin. <laughs> I'm melt it. If I win the trophy, I'm going to melt it. No. We oh. don't have the trophy yet from the fan making it. Don't say that. I'm not going to melt it. <laughs> He's not. I'm not going to melt I'm going to melt he it. He just burns it gonna, in front of me. I'm going to melt it and then cast it into a sign that just says Destin sucks. With an X. <laughs> <laughs> That's harsh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> 2017 is getting real. Can I have my Twitch channel on? That's the socks at the Dustin channel. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, yes, Marty at nine points for 2017, Destin at eight, Alana at seven. Let's get let's get uh, Miranda on the board, shall we? Can I give my point to somebody else? No. You can give it to Alana. We, uh, no. Bill Spencer gave us That's point to Alana. That's not. Come on! No. But he's he was a he was an external guest. I don't think I'm gonna get this right. I anyway. feel like we would have if we start allowing that internally, it's just doing going to encourage the last like, week of the year. Backroom deals and bar Medina wins. Can mine, <laughs> can mine be worth ten points? <laughs> no, but you're playing for pride. <laughs> okay, okay. All right, so it's worth nothing. Joe, <laughs> or uh, Joe, who no gamer tag, no last name, just Joe. Joe asks, yeah. Steve Downs, aka Voice of the Master Chief, also did voice work for which animated superhero? It really bothers me because I feel like I know this. Right. Because I listened to an interview with Steve Downs a long time ago, and I was like, whoa, he did that superhero? <laughs> and I don't remember. Was it Batman? Yeah. A version of Batman? Was it uh, Star-Lord? Captain America or Spawn? Spawn's back. <laughs> there he is. We've mentioned Spawn. Spawn. You remember him the last hour. You, you Googled him. Yeah, right I heard who he is today. Yeah. I didn't know who Spawn was. Yeah. Uh, well, I will go to Miranda first. I'm going to say Spawn. Okay. My new best friend. <laughs> Just my new best friend doubling Spawn. down. I like that. Destin? I'm going to go Captain America. Okay. Marty? I, d I don't think it's Batman because Kevin Conroy did... And Troy Baker have done Batman yeah. in pretty much every yeah. game. Uh, so just to be this different. Animated, uh, animated animated show. We're talking animated superhero here, not uh, game. So well, just still Kevin what Conroy. What is the oh. Still Kevin it. Conroy. Oh. Hmm? Still... Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah. going to go B. Just, just making I'm, sure you're... going to go B, Star-Lord. Okay. Second try. I don't even know if there's been a Guardians of the Galaxy really cartoon. I don't right? even know what Spawn's been there in. probably was. There was a Spawn cartoon. That was the thing he was talking about. Oh. There's Ryan navigating to you. Uh, you have right to be nervous, Destin. Oh, my Marty God! Extending the lead, it's Star-Lord. When oh, was, was there an animated <laughs> show for Guardians of the Galaxy? I don't know. Probably, probably now. The... I don't know. It was probably oh. one, like after the volume one came out. I love how mad it makes him. Maybe, yeah. It's great. It's great. Uh, if you would like to try and frustrate Destin, please send your Xbox-related <laughs> really trivia thought question. I had that one. Include four multiple-choice answers. <laughs> Note the correct wow. one in your email. Send it to unlocked at ign.com, and we will keep playing for pride and a uh, listener-made trophy, which I trust is. Uh, you think it's gonna be edible? Edible, maybe. <laughs> it's edible. That'd be really cool. Anything edible. It'll be in the shape of a cup. Yeah, a coffee mug. <laughs> like a chocolate coffee mug. <laughs> Oh, hey, yeah. You do have to eat Everyone shut up. Mug. Everyone shut up. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's hit the road, shall we? Miranda, where can we follow you? Uh, I know the Disney show. What do you want to plug? Tell us about yourself and where we can keep track of what you're up to. Mm, you can follow me at Havoc Grows on Twitter, Instagram, and just kind of wherever. It's Havoc with a K. And right now I'm working on a bunch of anime stuff from Anime Expo because I went to that as well. So I'll be running some of that. And I've just started playing Final Fantasy VII for the first time. Whoa! So, really? Wow! Yeah, oh my god! We need to start talking about it. Yeah, so I'm I'm writing a thing about it. Oh, that's awesome! Who are you? Maybe for IGN. Um, we just went to the casino. And they okay. got thrown down a hole. Okay. Wait, like the like gold it. saucer? Yeah. Oh man, you're ways into it. Yeah, we okay. played all weekend. Yeah, so. is it, the cross dressing thing is really interesting because I'm like that can't <laughs> exist in the remake, right? Sure, it can. Why not? Like the. It's really like I would love that for it to is, exist. Yeah, we'll see. But I'm pretty sure Cloud has sex with a dude in that scene. And it's like implied. Really? I think so. And when you go no, to the he, honeybee, I thought it was pretty camp. When you go to the honeybee, wait, is that the the guy's mansion? Y yeah, yeah. No, he fights him off. They're like, oh, 
<laughs> and then you're gonna okay, I'm not gonna argue with you because I haven't played that game him. in like ten years. Yeah. Oh so no, might, no, yeah. he doesn't. Okay, never no, mind. He just he goes into a room. They're like, "Hey, pretty lady," and he's just like, "I'm a man." And Pulls then, out his Buster sword. Yeah, yeah. Then yeah. Kill them all. Buster sword was the name of his sword. It's the Buster. Sword. I, it's the okay. Sure. Anyway, <laughs> canonical <laughs> name of the sword Fine. is the Buster sword. Wait, is is it gonna be? Is the remake on Xbox? Is what Forget remake? Remake? I don't think. So. I, no, Probably I believe. Hold on, I believe it's a timed exclusive. Uh, that was the a, implication. Marty might not. I don't think that game's ever going to come out. Uh, yeah, yeah, never. <laughs> the, uh, no, Kingdom Hearts 3 is definitely still slated is, for Xbox. Yes. But um, no, weren't you asking about Final Fantasy 7 Remake? Yeah. yeah I, I think don't think they've said exclusively PS4. I think they said it's first it? to PS4. Yeah, I think it's yeah. time. I think it makes sense just because we got 15 on Xbox One. So yeah. Not. Especially with how much money and time that game's going to take. Yeah, to make. put it everywhere possible. Put it everywhere. Put it on Switch, put it on PC. Flat square. Exactly. Put it on billboards. Anyway. Marty? What's up with me? Uh, you can find me uh, everywhere at McBiggity. Um, and then we're in the midst of planning Comic Con for the following weekend. Um, that's like a week and a half away. Miranda and I are going to be there. You're going to be? No, you're not going to nope. be there. Um, but we're going to have all sorts of cool games coverage. I know there's a bunch of cool Xbox stuff uh, we have in the works for that weekend. And also there's a really? f- giant fan event. Thursday. On Thursday, so uh, a week from this Thursday, uh, it's somewhere downtown where it's uh, we're partnering with the Dark Tower movie and uh, creating the Dixie Pig, which is a terrible home for cannibals. And that's where the party's going to take place. Oh, I'm very great, excited. Great party, I I love Ooh. the Dark Tower. Well, yeah, it's also, so it's exciting to me because I, I, I've i read all the books, yeah. but one of the things is like, have drinks, live entertainment, and baby ribs. And it's because the place was full of cannibals. And I'm like, anyone who doesn't know the Dark Tower is going to see that and being like, what's wrong with IGN? <laughs> <laughs> I'm stoked, though. Baby ribs. Baby ribs. There oh you go. No. <laughs> Destin? Yeah, okay. Yeah, uh, follow me at Destin Gary on Twitter, twitch.tv slash the Destin Channel every Tuesday and Thursday. But what I really want you guys to do is check out go.igen.com slash destiny2. I have been uh, working very hard on you, IGN you really have. this month. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just appreciate you guys watching it. And let me know what you think in the comments. Yeah, I mean, you've got, we've got, uh, crucible map reveals with tons yeah. of gameplay, like uh, the fly through with, is it with Lars? Yeah, I got uh, one with then, Lars. And then just some gameplay of yeah. maps as well. There's a Cooley one that's live right now. Yeah. Lars explained how control works in Destiny 2. It has changed a little bit. We have some really, really good Sentinel Titan gameplay, first reveal of that. And we also have some Void Warlock gameplay, which the guy went like 13 and 3, and people were like, this guy I can't play. And I'm like, Wait, 13. Oh, he did pretty good. <laughs> also, was it a like, Bungie employee? Yep. Are they trying to mansplain <laughs> Destiny 2 <laughs> to someone who's building Destiny 2? Actually, I, yeah. I thought I thought the Void Warlock did pretty well, but whatever. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have more PvP reveals coming this week, actually. Thursday, we're going to get another one, and then we have another one after the beta. We got a ton of great stuff coming up, you guys. You're gonna really like the rest of the content. Yeah, no, you you and the the crew have done a fantastic job. Thanks. Getting all getting all that uh, hot Destiny Two scoops up on IGN. My brain works this show. I'm a little hyper, but you are I'm a little hyper. Up. Yeah, I like so. so. Let's put that's not a bad. Just, you could not stop them. talking. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I don't have to talk about Destiny for a little bit. <laughs> What's going on, guys? <laughs> Wait, we're not talking about Mass Effect. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, we won't have to talk about Mass Effect for years. <laughs> oh, uh, but Anthem though. But maybe the DLC. Who knows? How, oh, how quickly yeah. the, the score about those Corians. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> they're stuck. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna be stuck forever. <laughs> I'm at DMC Ryan underscore Ryan on Twitter. Uh, again, yeah. In addition to the Destiny 2 IGN first stuff. I would just love it if you would check out the Warren Spector IGN Unfiltered and maybe all the other episodes of Unfiltered while you're at it. Those are uh, those are those are passion projects. So the more <laughs> views I can get on those, the more I easily I can justify to my bosses that they should keep letting me do it. So uh, look for that episode on IGN and or YouTube, or it'll be uploaded to podcast services as well in the next couple days. I think that about wraps it up. Uh, yeah, I guess, you know, IGN Prime, if you're not on there already, and you've got $30 burning a hole in your pocket, why not give it to us, help keep the lights on, the very bright lights on that are <laughs> above my face, and get an ad-free IGN experience. It's good for one year, a one-year membership there. So that's IGN.com slash Prime. Uh, Miranda, thank you so much for subbing in, especially last mm-hmm. minute. I know uh, you've got a lot going on, so it's always great to hear from you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Marty? Always a pleasure. Aw. I thought you'd be like, Marty, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> Destin, 
Don't talk over me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, no, everybody. I, it. uh, I know you've you've been you've been working like ridiculously hard. Thanks. I appreciate yeah. all the all the awesome stuff you've been doing for. You're right. I though. mean, basically, it's a bad audio experience, and as a producer, I should know yeah. better. <laughs> I, I created a lot of work yeah. for you by by ha making that IGN first happen. So I appreciate you executing on it. It's coming out great. So. Yeah, it really is. Uh, kudos to you and the guys for this lovely panel. Uh, I'm Ryan. This was Unlock 304, and we'll see you guys next week.